So I tried Uchina Toy's makeup tutorial and this is the final look. If you're interested in knowing how I got this look, then definitely want to keep on watching. Hey, hello, hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is Goodness. If you are seeing for the very first time, in today's video, I'm excited because I'm going to be showing you how I was able to use Uchi Natobi's makeup tutorial to create this look that you're seeing here. If you've been living under a rock or you're having network issues, because MTN is MTN. Uchi Natobi has been the makeup it girl that lives in London that has been taking over the makeup game on TikTok and Instagram. Her makeup game always it's both like is it her camera quality or a lighting station or an actual makeup game because this is giving less is more so actually like this makeup look and i'm so so amazed that i could create something like this with less products honestly when i say less product i mean less product so you don't need to have all the things that she used in her makeup videos use what you have to get what you want because that's what we're doing on this channel we're all about using what you have to create the lifestyle the look and the things that you want to get in life so without further ado let's get right into the video okay so start with skin prep and i'm making use of my simple hydrating light moisturizer hopefully it to give the same results she actually used to go way deep with her skincare how this sits on her face she goes to start doing her brows so that the moisturizer can get into the actual skin do you get so where's my spoolie okay so she makes use of a brow gel i do not know what's wrong with me but the fact that my hair wax can't do it for me honestly so i'm not going to use my hair wax yeah and my spoolie and just get it done I got to the difference between this guy and this guy like don't play with my hair wax after she does this i do this as well so maybe i'm an uchi in the making she doesn't have to clean it up because of the times where you might actually get like residue of the wax on your on your skin and actually mess up your foundation so i just use this wipe and use my finger to just clean up the excess and underneath as well So that this way, the wax is only where it's supposed to be. And I can still use this one method to ensure that my brows are looking this pretty. Now she goes in with a very flat brush to clean the bottom of her brows. I got these two guys here that look like what she's using, but I'm trying to see which one is flatter. I think it's this one. I'm going to just use this and then get my newborn beauty in my skin to just make a palette behind my palm hair like she did. Now we're going to use this to just clean up underneath the brows. Okay, so doing the same thing for the other side. It's just very funny how we went from drawing the darkest brows to not drawing brows at all. This is what looking like right now. Okay, so now the next step is foundation. So I'm making use of my new one beauty my skin foundation, and I'm gonna apply this flat brush again from Urban Decay. Yeah, Urban Decay. So I'm going to just using this to apply foundation on my face. So she uses her powder brush and just goes like this. Yeah. I think I need to put a little bit more. And that's weird because normally what I have on my face is very sufficient for me. Do you understand? But we're going to be going in a little more. I'm going to use what's left over to just clean up my brows. Get this quite faster than using a small brush. She makes use of a dense brush just like this. So I have two. So any kind of brushes like this would be very, very good for you. So I'm going to use this good one because I just it's just what I like to use. So taking leftover of what I have here because we cannot my wasting products here. And then just dabbing it on my face. And 
your comments so I know that you're still locked in. I think this is what all the magic comes to light after you've foundationed yourself down. Put a beauty for filter. This is for the girls. Okay, so now that I have all of this properly blended, I have to take my time to ensure that I was blending everything and nothing is left. Next up we have is for concealer and she likes to go a little bit on the eye because she feels like um the more you go in with more product there the more chances of you actually creasing and i'm almost out of concealer this is just not a good time to be playing with concealer but we're gonna make you what we have so she applies here applies here as well I mean, now that I look at it, we almost have the same routine. So, I'm like, what's the difference? Okay, the times I actually apply here, because sometimes where maybe I have like cold, and my nose is red, I don't know, sometimes there's this discoloration on the side of my nose. So, we have it covered. She applies down her bridge from here. And the only thing I never ever blend out on my face is my upper lip. Okay, she didn't do him. She didn't apply anyone him. I don't know why, but she didn't apply any concealer there. We are going to leave this for a while and then go straight into our contour. I'm making use of the Black Upper Foundation Stick SPF 8. And this is how it looks like. So I'm just going to get a brush, a flat brush, and apply these guys to where she applied her contour and i like that applying it with the brush is actually less chaotic and you can easily control it instead of just going straight in like this and you have just more things to do with what in the world is this contouring method <laughs> okay now it looks silly then down her nose She takes it from her eyebrow and bring it down as well. Here. Okay. So here. Then here. You want to know that you are drawing your contour on your cheekbone, like on your actual. I used to my cheekbones on your actual cheekbone. Don't don't bring it down. Like don't be gonna drag your face down. I want to go for this lifted look, not I just woke up from sleep kind of look. So then she said down her jaw, then down here. I haven't done this down here before. Hopefully I can blend it out. Contour bronzer for me the Did she just put on her eyelid? Okay, let's go. She did like this, and we're going in with this guy as well. And then down here, and then down here. Honestly, when it comes to makeup, I believe that it's just art work. So if you know your way around fine arts and painting and colors. You should be good because I'm seeing this coming together already or maybe I'm just overhyping myself. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush in 200 to just properly blend it because like what she said, you need a really dense brush to ensure that it's blended in the areas that you need it to be blended in and it's not spreading. Okay, so we are blending. And... When she was blending, she said the idea is just to imagine you are drawing three on your face. So you're coming from here and drawing three and then drawing three underneath your jaw. So that's just the plan. I'm just trying to blend out this harsh line. So then I'll blend out these guys as well. I don't know. I keep deceiving myself that I can actually see. I see the way I'm not dragging it, so I'm just lifting and tapping. And then she says she brings it down, like the excess. Now 
Honestly, I don't see the reason why we did this line here, but I'm trusting the process. My nose contour, she mentioned that she likes to use a fluffier brush compared to a very dense one so that it will look like natural and not look too intentional. Why is my hand this way? So she didn't make mention of the emotion that you're meant to go in, but I'm just using common sense here. And I'm like, okay, since we're going for like a natural airbrush to buy, going circular will make a lot of sense. So the circular motion will just help to diffuse it and make it look a little bit softer. And then can bring the excess down. Because you don't want this down part to be so intense. And then just the same thing to this guy here. It's the way I don't breathe out when I'm blending my nose contour because anything and everything can go wrong. Okay, so now that that's done, it's time to blend our, our concealer. So I'm making use of this naked brush, starting off with the edges. Then going in. So, the fact that we waited a bit before blending it, like it's less messier because anyway, you put it straight, just staying in that position. It's not, it's not moving. Well, it's moving, but it's less. It's more tacky. That's what I'm looking for. As we're doing this tutorial, I want you to still remember that you have to work with your own natural face shape and face structure and how you like to enhance your natural looks. So yeah, we're doing an impression video, but I mean, I don't have same eyes as she does, same nose as she does. So if you're not new to this makeup game and there are things that you know that already work for you, just stick to it. Okay, so we are done with stage one of our blending. She goes into use the lighter shade of concealer for the inner corner of her eye. And then goes in with a damn beauty blender to blend it immediately. I believe the no matter what happens, you can't really take away the essence of a beauty blender in a makeup bit because it just does its job seamlessly. Like there's no competi competition. So I'm just taking the excess I have and just taking it over my eyelid because I have a huge amount of hyperpigmentation in there. And then just further blending my nose contour. Then using excess to just go over my chin. So I'm going back in with my bronzer because she went back in just in case some areas that have been overpowered by your concealer. So you can always go back in with your contour brush, your bronzer brush, and just get that snatchedness back. I like the way my face looks lifted on its own without me even finishing my makeup. So I like to really take my time with my under eye because I don't know if you can see it clearly, but I'm very susceptible to getting creasing. So I like to go back and when I see those pieces that the creasing actually starts to occur, I'll go back and blend them again. Once she's done, I don't believe she sprays a certain spray because she didn't mention what she sprayed, but let's just hit it. Smooth every time. I do love the one size, but I like that for a different step. I don't like it for this initial step here. Just because I like to look matte. Okay guys, so now that I've blended everything, she makes it a fluffy brush like this to just set her under eye. Because she believes that that's where most people just mess things up at the end of the day. So I'm getting like a very, very enormous amount of this guy here. And then tapping the excess behind my palm. You guys see how much we have. I'm also a team matte girl because I have a natural oily skin. So anything that will give me this matte feeling, I'm down for it. So I'm just basically applying this everywhere that I applied concealer. And of course, not forgetting 
my forehead and my nose to bronze my face to set the part where I apply bronzer I'm going to using this guy here I've used this guy so much that I, when I get this guy I can't even remember so we're just using it to just bronze my face I can see I'm keeping everything lifted and then applying it here to give that three feeling so everywhere I apply bronzer I'm applying this guy as well So this side as well, bringing it down here. From what I can see, she's really big on her bronzing game. Yeah, I think that's what makes her makeup a bit unique because her bronzing game is actually fire. And I'm seeing it. Her face has this natural bronze look. I'm not forgetting my nose. I like the way this just looks like an eyeshadow look of its own. After doing that, I'm going to go into my Ben Nye setting powder. She does this as well using the same highlighter brush that I made this off to just set my face furtherly. What is furtherly? To just set my face even more. So tap in the excess here as always. Okay, so for the eyeshadow looks, she's a natural cool tone girly and she made use of an orange, earthy, reddish undertone eyeshadow color and I have something like this here, so I'm going to be using this actual shade here for the inner corner of my eye. Honestly, I like this color because you can never actually go wrong with this color. Never. Take me to cut. With this kind of tone, you might not really see the difference, but if you look closely, you see the difference, and that's I like it. It's giving I was born like this, so I'm just gonna be making use of a black eyeliner. I don't know if I should make use of like a gel or a liquid, but let me just go with gel so that will be safe. Okay, so I'm making use of the matte the beauty eyeliner. Just do a little bit. She's a wing though. So doing a little bit of wink today. Connecting it here just so, so that it's giving reverse line. I don't know what's wrong with my wing, but it does not look like their sisters. It looks like they're distant cousins. So I'm just going to go in with a black eyeshadow to just lock it in place. And then use the black eyeshadow to bring it down. So I'm going to use this fluffy brush to just blend everything. I can't do this on top at the same time. So it's time for our mascara. I'm just applying my Zara mascara onto my upper and lower lashes. Okay, so far I have popped on my lashes and honestly, this cool tone is actually doing what it's meant to do. You can never go wrong with this eye makeup. Take it from me and take it from Gucci. So right now, I want to do my brows. She did a little bit of sharpening thingy with her brows. Sharpened a pencil that is in her actual shade and just went in slightly at the bottom and mostly at the front here. So that's what I'm trying to do. I 
I like the way she doesn't really do so much with her brows. I can totally relate to that because the girl here barely touches her brows. And I say barely, I mean barely. Like, I can go all and do my makeup and forget that I haven't touched my brows. It's so embarrassing sometimes. But it's one of the perks of having full brows. So I'm not going to brush everything just in case it's looking too artificial. Okay, so for my lips, make it use the same pencil. This is the Davis pencil. Make it use of the Beauty by AD Clear Lip Gloss. You guys were not even done, I'm already eating. So, to lock this all in, I'm going to make use of my newborn beauty. Mineral finishing powder and just dab it on my face like this. Okay, my love. So this is the finished look, and I am so gassed. I remember those days where I did not used to apply blush on my face, and this just takes me back to those days because I can't remember last time I actually did a whole makeup bit and I didn't apply maybe powder blush. Or cream blush and it's just it's just looking nice she didn't apply highlighter it's lovely for like an everyday look it's perfect like that i only used the one lip gloss and one lip liner i mean it's giving less is more like honestly and if you're in lagos nigeria and you're like oh you don't have all the makeup product that she made is all that is cap this is proof that you can get this look okay guys so that's it for this video thanks for watching up until now and if you've been watching up until now i'm not subscribed what are you waiting for? So if you are interested in much more content like this, do well to hit the subscribe button so that when I put out a video like this, you'd be among the first set of people to get notified. And do not forget to hit the like button so let me know that you actually enjoyed this video. Till next time guys, love you guys so much. Bye.